빨라 배가 One drink. That's what I need on one dance. Okay, where the hell we at? Got a Hennessy in my head. One more. Oh, I was like, who the hell, girl? I thought that was Trey for a second there. I, <laughs> I was like, what the hell is Trey doing in this episode? <laughs> okay, why would Daniel ask us to meet? Hey, 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 hey. Why would Daniel ask us to meet him here at this deserted uh -huh. airport? I don't know. Maybe it's an ambush and we're about to be assassinated. Wow. Funny guy over here. Nah, don't worry, gorgeous. You'll find out soon enough. What do you mean? Uh, do you know this place? Well, I've worked with them before, remember? I don't want to ruin the surprise for you. I hate surprises. Surprise, I hate surprises. <laughs> there he is. And, uh, look at her. She's so cute. Good afternoon, Raven and Miss Patel. What are we doing here exactly, Daniel? I was just about to show you exactly. I mean, exactly, actually. Following. Is that what I think it is? Yep. That gorgeous is a black project. Highly classified in me for the U.S. military. It's an F-117 Nighthawk to be exact. It's probably a lot different from the F-22 Raptor I used to fly. What? You can, you, wait, you can fly fighter jets? <laughs> of course, it's it's a necessity when I worked for the government three years ago. You can't fly those? Uh, I don't think a lot of us can. It's just you who's exceptional gorgeous. He's a serious move talker, that boy. No wonder he's a reason. I can fly a helicopter, though. <laughs> okay, I must admit, he's really cute, too. You're both truly exceptional. Now, let's move along. He started typing a code on the panel on the wall. I saw, I saw zero panels. What the? Well, hidden behind a secret door was an elevator. We all entered the elevator. Took us to the ten. Wait, took us ten floors down underground. Bitch, what type of fucking? What, what the fuck? Okay, I got a fucking headache. Man, and they stressing me out. Fucking ten floors underground, bitch. What type of fucking digging y'all really doing? Welcome to the headquarters. High tech modern, a classic spy headquarters. Who that? And your eyebrows are bushwhack, bitch. Are they talking about me? This is the control room that focuses on um Tristan Evergreen mission. And these are some of the people working with us. We closely monitor Evergreen Corporation 24-7. The only place we can't monitor is in the lab. No matter what we do, we simply can't get into the security cameras. Then you explain everything to us about what about what their headquarters do. After we were done, they asked us if we wanted to grab some food from their cafeteria. I was really hungry, so I thought, why not? Follow me, I'll show you the cafeteria. Oh, and Miss Patel, don't be surprised if, if everyone stares at you. Stares at me? Why? Do I have something in my, in my face? No, you're just, well, you're kind of a celebrity here. Seriously? You didn't know? You're like the most talked about admired Femme Patel who's ever lived. Really? Ever lived? Okay. And probably all of the guys... Down here wants to sleep with you, including myself, of course. <sighs> He's so irritating. <laughs> I admit, I feel a bit embarrassed about not knowing this. After all, it's my job to know at least a little bit about everything. But then again, I work alone. How should I know what people talk about me? It's not like I'm very special, a very special person. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there you go, y'all. 
If people don't know, wait, if people don't have anything more interesting to talk about than me, let them. Let's just get this over with. I pushed Lucas away from, uh, with my hand on his forehead. But I caught myself wishing I could grab him by his shirt and pull him closer to me. Ha <laughs> ha! The tension between us was getting to me, girl. He was getting to me. And frankly, it scared me a bit. Did you know that's because you. Girl, you need to get them cakes smashed. That's what it is. <laughs> it was getting harder and harder for me to just eye roll. Wait, to just roll my eyes at him. Bop this it's in the forehead. I said bop that. And okay, I'm gonna leave you now. Feel free to order whatever you want. It's on me. I'm supposed to see both of them. Thank you. Okay. With all these goddamn people. Is that? Oh my god. Fem Oh, bitch. Everybody turn around. It is her. Look at her eyes. Oh boy. <laughs> Hey, I have an idea. How about we go grab some dinner someplace else? I know you you girls hate when people are staring at you while you eat. You know what? That sounds good. Let me just go change to something a bit more casual. Sure, let's go before they swarm you for autographs. <laughs> this looks nice. No one here but us. Or no one is. No one but us here. Yeah, it's fine. But don't you get any ideas? It's not a date. I know, I know, but you are you will be begging me for one when we finished here. That's why I want to take you out for a drink afterwards. Uh, nah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Look at it like this. If we know each other, we work better together. It's a fact. And come on. You seem like you could use some company. And why is that? Baby, you're pretty hostile. <laughs> I'm not hostile. I'm just not interested in making friends. Yeah, you give off that vibe. <laughs> Look, you've probably lost someone dear to you, and you're building up wall. Building, you're building up a wall to protect yourself from getting hurt that bad again. I know that because I used to do the same thing. Come on, let loose for once. I'm not going to hurt you, and you gotta let your soul feel alive once in a while. Why live if that never happens? Bitch, now you about to have her doing flashbacks and I don't got the time for that. He's right, I am lonely. I don't actually live, feel alive. I try to shelter myself from emotions and feelings all the time. My body and mind is starting to rebel against it. I guess there's no harm in enjoying this night. Maybe it'll do me some good. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry I didn't mean to be hard on you oh, Whatever Honestly it just kills me to see a beautiful flower Like you slowly die Damn I understand but it kills me What the fuck <laughs> Uh So, sure, just say thank you. I don't apologize. I appreciate it. No one really cares about me for a long time. It's actually nice. I'm kind of working on Hey, I'm just looking out for a fellow assassin. I know you've seen things most people only see in their nightmares. I've seen them too. But we choose this. But we chose this. Um, I don't know why you ch uh, chose this job though. But I actually did it because I wanted to make a difference in the world. Really? So did I. But God knows I've done stupid things. Two things I regret. Jobs I shouldn't have taken. Yeah. Me too. There's this one thing. There, oh, yeah. This was, there was another. <laughs> Sorry. There was this one thing I, I was asked to do when I got into this business. It still haunts me to this day. This conversation with Lucas brought back a lot of long forgotten memories and feelings. I just think I was feeling a sense of relief. I mean, I don't think I felt like this since I was a kid and had friends. 
Please don't flashback. Please do not flashback. God damn it. Don't be surprised. Well, it didn't surprise me that I had forgotten how good it felt to talk to someone about the hard things in life. I had labeled these feelings and memories as a particular dark place to be when I was younger. I didn't need them because I was never going to let anyone close enough to feel them again. I was never going to let myself have friends or love. But right now, in this moment with Lucas, I feel liberated. <laughs> like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Is this a sign? Girl, is it really, girl? Maybe I do need some uh, to make some changes. Maybe a friend can't hurt. Besides, after this mission, I'll probably never see him again. Maybe I should let myself get a bit closer to Lucas. Live a little. I must admit, it feels... Wait, I must admit it. It feels good to talk to someone who actually understands. Yeah, it's been a while since that happened to me as well. Where we assassins are loners. <laughs> I'm glad we did this, Lucas. I mean, too gorgeous. Rachel. What? My name is Rachel. You can call me that if you want. I kind of get the feeling you don't throw your name around that to everybody. I don't. I think it's been six years since I told anybody that. Don't get a big head now, though. I'm honored. Thank you. And don't worry, I'll keep it to myself. You probably should. Or what? You're going to take me up on that wrestling date? I might. The conversation had gone from friendly to a bit more flirtatious. Surprisingly, from my side as well. His eyes were so captivating, they were hard not to gaze at. Really, his eyes and you don't get the magical power being eyeballs over here. Um, I could feel my cheeks turn red when I held, well, when we held eye contact for more than a few seconds. The worst part is that he knows that he's trained to spot these things. He must be high as a kite right now, knowing that he made me be fin fatale blush. <laughs> I'm trained to control these emotions. I'm not one to I'm not one to blush, get shy, and a bit insecure when men look at me. But Lucas is trained as well. Maybe I met my match. Maybe his game was better. What well, was well, oh was well, just better than mine. No, control yourself now, Rachel. Well, I'm cool. Me too. I guess I should be heading home. Dallas. Shit. Or you could go out for a drink with me. I don't drink. One drink, it will, say, it will help you relax. Oh, what the hell, but uh, only since we're already out. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. You okay? You okay? Get up. Okay, we've had a few drinks and I could definitely already feel them. I don't usually drink, so I get drunk very quickly. Okay, here. But I trust he wouldn't uh, use this against me. Excuse me. Uh, sir, do you need another? Oh, wait, do you need another? I can make another martini for you. This gorgeous waitress has been looking quite a lot at uh, Lucas since we got here. I couldn't say it didn't bother me. Um, he was really good looking. Actually so good looking that other females would ask him for his number. Even even though they see what he could, he was, or that they could see he was sitting with, here with me. Yes, thank you. That will be great. What about you, gorgeous? A glass of more love. That would be great. Thanks. And a glass of more love, please. Um, sure, no problem. I'll be right back. <laughs> that girl was so. She'll probably write her number on the check. She came with our drinks and smiled seductively at Lucas as she leaned in front of him. So, Rachel, would you like to tell me a bit about yourself? <laughs> Depends on what you want to know. How old are you? Why do you need to know that? Okay, how about you start by asking me some questions and maybe you'll warm up a bit afterwards. Sorry, like I said, I'm not good at this. It's very new to me. 
Hey, don't be. We'll take things nice and slow. Just two friends hanging out, okay? Okay, but I wouldn't say we are friends, girl. Um, To get as much information with you in the story about Lucas, I suggest you ask all the questions. Okay, I'm running okay, I'm It's not a necessity, though. It makes the story more interesting. Okay, let's see. How old are you? 28 years young. Oh, no, bitch, you're old, girl. Is there anything else you would like to ask? Well, hell yeah, let me ask. Okay, how long have you been in this business? Since I was 17, I got mixed up in the wrong crowd of, in gangs. I started committing all sorts of crimes. I discovered my love for weapons, and there I was surprisingly good at <laughs> target shooting. A friend of mine then asked me to assassinate an enemy gang member, and stupid as I was, I did it. He was a bad guy, but he had, had a family. I felt so bad about it, and I wanted out, so I fled to America and started a new life. I didn't know what to do with my uh, life. I was young and dumb and thought that if I could just get to America, I could get into the army and maybe become a sniper. But since I wasn't an American citizen, and based on my criminal record, I was about to be sent back to Colombia. Oh, Colombia. <laughs> So I decided to stay in the shadows and become a hitman. It was the only way I could stay here in America. I fled to America too, from Venice. I was from, wait, I was, uh, oh yeah, I was a part of, of oh girl, some the gang. No way, uh, the fucking mafia girl. They trained me to be a fin fatale for the most part. They, but they also taught me about everything else. Impressive. Horrible, but impressive. Is there anything else yet? Um, are you happy? I guess I'm happy. <laughs> I could be happier, though. I would love to have a wife and a family someday. Settle down in a nice house, you know? Me too, actually. I'm thinking about doing it soon. Putting all of this behind me. I have saved up a lot of money, so I wouldn't actually need to work anymore. Exactly. Me too. One sweet day, I guess. Is there anything else? Sure. I was born in um, Bot Botica. Um, actually, the capital of Colombia. Okay, he was born in the capital of Colombia. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, both of my parents are from America, though. My dad was a drug dealer and wanted to move closer to his labs. Get yeah, caught up, uh, caught though, and now he's serving a life in prison. God damn, big shocker there. Yeah, it is a big shocker. Life in prison, what type of fucking drugs he had on him, bitch? Doesn't matter that I will never want to see him again. Or, and my mom died giving birth to me, so I grew up with my dad and all his shit. <laughs> Got me pretty messed up, huh? I'm, I'm sorry, Lucas. If it makes any difference, I don't think you're messed up considering what you've been through. Thanks, gorgeous, but I'm doing all right now. Oh, my God. <sighs> Happy to hear that. I'm sure. Oh, do you have a girlfriend? Um, do you have someone special, like a girlfriend or a wife? Uh-huh, why do you want to know? Are you finally feeling the sparks? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, I'll stop. I don't have a wife or a girlfriend, but I've got my eyes on someone, on a special someone. I don't want to know who it is. Afraid you'll get jealous? I'll never get jealous. Everybody gets jealous, babe. So why would I get jealous? You're not my boyfriend. Yeah, cough, cough. Okay, look, it's your real extra girl. And do you have children? Hopefully not. Girl, not hopefully not, girl. <laughs> I mean, I hope I haven't gotten someone pregnant because she will probably never be able to find me. <laughs> Either will the kid if it had, if it had happened. Heck, you know, I don't think I could. I I don't think I've gotten anyone pregnant though. I I used to, I used protection, you know. Too much information, child. What I thought you wanted to know. Oh, and no, I think that's all the questions. That's all for now. Thanks for your answers. No problem. And you. Oh, are you too? See. It wasn't so hard, right? It feel good to talk about it. I must really trust you. 
You can trust me, gorgeous. I promise you're. Oh, 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 you're not the only one who could use a friend. And as far as I know, it takes a little something from both parts. Right. I think I'm drunk. This is not good. <laughs> you only had like three drinks. <laughs> three too many, and I'm not a good good at drinking either. Let me grab your cap, okay? I'll get the check. I can pay for my own drinks. Well, I invited you, so no, you're not paying. This is ridiculous. I have more money than you. I'm filthy rich. <laughs> you're even meaner when you're drunk, Rachel. Do you know that? <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. My head was spinning. She said, this is ridiculous. Bitch, I'm filthy fucking rich, bitch. Yes. <laughs> my, my head was spinning. My heart was racing. Um, this night had been incredible. Not only did I have a good time, I also rediscovered the meaning of friendship. I felt a thousand times lighter. I've been carrying a lot of this on my own. Lucas helped me tonight. He helped me live again. You coming, gorgeous? <laughs> that'll stop pinching me well I wish the, the night didn't have to end gorgeous I really enjoyed it I, I, come on you can say it okay I'll admit it I had a great time too thank you I, I haven't felt this good in a very long time you know it's hard for me to admit I know anyway I'll let you go home now and then Mirror in your face on Sunday. How generous of you. Good night, Lucas. Good night, Rachel. See you in Italy in a few days. Right there, I honestly felt like kissing him. <laughs> but since I wasn't sure if it was the drinks, I thought I would leave it. I thought I would leave gracefully. <laughs> Bitch should have kissed him, girl. She should have. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Stop, stop it.